Hi everyone, this is Cheryl from Dragonfly Designs 58.blogspot.com and I have a card I want to share with you today. My mother-in-law had given me a box of envelopes that I believe are A9, which is an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper scored and folded in half. And so that's what I've done is taken an 8.5 by 11 of blue paper, scored it and folded in half, and these mats are cut a quarter inch smaller I believe all the way around although the first one looks a little bit uh, smaller yet but let's go ahead and get started making this card I have done a lot of prep work ahead of time so um, it didn't take up too much time on the video again I'm using my sure cuts a lot software and um, svgcuts.com and this is the birdhouse collection I cut this in the regular feature and in the shadow blackout feature and I'm going to layer that on top then I cut it again in a piece of designer paper it's Martha Stewart and it's a piece I had left from my last card out of that baby collection so I cut this one again but all I did was cut the peaks off and the scallop at the bottom to add a little bit of trim the birds on that collection have a piece cut out of them but I did it in blackout because I just wanted them solid and I saved the flourish out of the middle because I'm thinking that I'll add this in at the end so let's go ahead and get started my HEG gun is in the body shop it's getting a makeover I've sprayed it hot pink and I'm waiting to do some more work on it and add some embellishments so I'm gonna bling that baby up Anyway, so I'm going to use the quick dry adhesive. So let's go ahead and I'll put the birdhouse together first. This glue is really good. It's quick drying and it's nice to work with. So we'll center this right here on top. I did some inking ahead of time, so that it wouldn't take too much time in the video. And we'll go ahead and add these accent pieces. I think I'm going to switch to my repositionable pen here for this. There's a lot of cuts, cutouts and that glue is just going to ooze out everywhere. So I'll put this here on the top. Another little piece here. On the side. It's my brother and sister-in-law's anniversary this week, so I wanted to do this card for them. And they are lovebirds, I will say, so that's kind of the idea of this card. I love them a lot, don't get to see them very often, so put this here at the bottom. And then these lovebirds I'm gonna scatter around right over the holes in the birdhouses. Have them kind of look like they're trying to go in. I don't remember the sizes on these, I'm sorry, but just kind of scaled them down a little bit. And put this one right up here. And then we will put the whole thing onto the card. Right about here. Some of my glue's oozing out here. Kind of just get in there and scrape it out a little bit. It does dry clear, but I'm kind of fussy about my glue not showing. Got a little close on the edges there. Then I had these 
corners that I cut from the Jasmine Cricut, Cartridge Cricut, and I wanted to put those in the corners. I'm going to use this. Can't make up my mind on adhesive today. These little tweezer bees, they are the best thing in the world. I can just clip right on there, hold that thing, get it put where you want it, and that's it. It's like having another hand detail work and it's really I wouldn't hardly be without them. Now this rosette I made and I cut a 1 inch by 12 inch strip of paper and I scored it at every 3 eighths of an inch and then accordion fold it and I used my hot glue gun to keep the seam together. I find that that really holds it the best and then you have to like smoosh it down to form the rosette and adhere a piece on the back to hold that shape and then I used a button, tied some floss on it and I used the hot glue to keep that on there as well and I thought that looked kind of nice but before I put that on there I want to go ahead and stamp my sentiment and it's from a Hero Arts stamp collection called Life is Not Perfect and this stamp I've chosen says, Life is about celebrating the moments. So I'll just stamp that here at the bottom. And then I'll go ahead and put the rosette on. If I had my hot glue gun plugged in, I would probably put that on with that. But since I don't, I'm just going to use this quick dry and the last thing I want to do is try and see if I can put this flourish come on now back in from where I cut it out of the striped paper so I'm just going to use this repositionable pen See if I can get that to stay in there. Fit that right in. Okay, there you have it. My card for today. An anniversary card for my brother. Um, I wanted to keep the colors soft and they are lovebirds so I thought the bird theme kind of tied in quite nicely. On the inside of the card I finished it off with another mat and I will write them a little letter and get this off in the mail to them. Stop by svgcuts.com, check out their collections and see if you can't find some things that you can work with with your Sure Cuts A Lot software. And again, check out my blog, dragonflydesigns58.blogspot.com. I'm trying to get to 100 followers, and when I do, I'm going to have a giveaway. Some bling and some things that you can use when you're crafting. So I'd love for you to sign up and follow. And you can also find this video on YouTube. Thanks. I hope to see you another day with another card and another video. Bye.